One complication specific to hip replacements is that of dislocation. I often find that this is one of the ones that people worry most about. I think probably because it's the, the complication that people feel they have most control of. Obviously, if they put their leg in a certain position, uh, then they could dislocate the hip. All dislocation means is that the ball, because uh, the, hip, the hip is a knee and ball, is a um, ball and socket joint, the ball part comes out of the socket. The reason why it's, uh, it happens with hip replacements is that when we do a hip replacement, we actually replace the hip uh, with a smaller ball and socket joint. This is because um, Professor John, Sir Professor John Charnley found that by using a smaller ball and socket joint, it uh, causes less wear, which makes the hip last longer. This is one of the um, main problems with hip replacements originally, was that we were unable to make them last a long time because they worn out. It's a bit like if you imagine um, having a, um, a, a, a rubber and as you rub the rubber uh, pencil mark out um, it forms wear debris which basically is what happens within a hip when a hard surface which is the metal ball uh, rubs against the plastic surface however with a, um, a hip replacement uh, we can now put larger ball and socket joints in because we have more re uh, uh, material that's less resistant, uh, that's more resistant rather to wearing out. So it's protective uh, and therefore we can put a larger ball in. This then prevents the hip uh, or reduces the risk from the hip dislocating. So the example is originally when Charlie started doing hip replacement, he was utilising a... Um, uh, 22.225 millimeter ball. Uh, this is because it was in the old um, imperial uh, measurements, um, why it's an odd size. Uh, now we can put up to a 32 millimeter ball in, uh, which makes it more difficult to dislocate. That doesn't mean that it doesn't dislocate, um, but there are certain activities that increase the risk of it dislocating. Usually, if I want, if if someone di uh, is trying to dislocate their hip, or uh, it is due to uh, a fall uh, or um, catching the hip in an ab the leg in an abnormal position and twisting on it. Um, if it doesn't dislocate, sometimes it uh, can lead to a fracture uh, because of the rotational forces that are being generated. Um, the main way to prevent uh, dislocation is to follow the precautions initially that the um, are recommended, such as sleeping on your back. Uh, this allows secondary uh, scarring to occur, which is a secondary stabiliser. The initial stability is made by the uh, ball and socket joint and the um, bony alignment of the uh, joint that you've put in and also the soft tissue tension. Um, this is what holds the hip in place. I hope that's helpful for you, but it is luckily quite rare complication, uh, but obviously it's one that people are most concerned about.